welcome back to Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon with Justin and Ulam. We are proceeding on to chapter 22, A Night-Filled Sky. Huh. So it wasn't the castle on the spot that we already were. Curious. The Macedon Minerva. That's a weird way of phrasing that that's where they're from, but okay. The Macedon, Minerva and Maria remembered- Oh, I should've just finished reading. The Macedon, comma, that, Minerva and Maria remembered best was one of peace. A quiet, prosperous kingdom famed for their flying beasts favored by Draco Knights. But then their brother, Prince Michalis, succumbed to his lust for power. Despite his sister's adamant opposition, he swore allegiance to Dollar. And when Macedon's dragoons took flight, the world suffered. Even now that the tides had turned, Michalis took position for one last stand. Draco Knights filled the sky end to end, eager to pluck Marth from the earth. Alright, so... We're on the outside, they're on the inside, huh? And of course we're on the south, and the entrance to them is on the north. That's a pretty serious advantage they've got. Boy, it'd be nice if you had some aerospace. <laughs> ah, shoot. So. We have Rickard. I guess maybe he was the only other... Yeah, because Daros can't... I mean, we can probably... Class change someone if we absolutely need so. Sorry, Rickard, we got your buddy killed by bringing him to the map at all. Honestly, yeah, he really shouldn't have been brought to the map. Alright, so a house to the north something, I think he said? There's a village up there. Maybe that's what he was talking about. Well, because there's a house here, but that's to the south something. Well, I don't know. That could be it, too. So, unfortunately, based on what he said, I think we need to start this map with Marth in possession of both spheres. So, sorry Tiki, you'll have to give that up for certainly the time being. I hope it's not a permanent loss. It's a story trade, which, uh, yeah, if we needed to beat what's-his-face, I guess. But it was really nice having it on Tiki. So, hopefully we get to keep it. Maybe we don't. Huh. Unfortunately, they forced me to start with Marth, not able to reach this house in one turn. Whatever. Oh, that's odd. Why can't they reach us? Alright, so you're not gonna move off your spot anyway. <laughs> you can't have the axe because she has it. <laughs> but you have Iot's shield, which she really wants, so... Why can't you guys fly over wall, wall, wall? Yeah, but wall is... Has wall been able to stop flyers in the past? I guess maybe it has. I thought they would be able to just descend on us, but I guess based on what this is looking like... Yeah, no. That wall is just absolutely going to stop them. Odd! You can fly over a mountain, but you can't fly over a wall?! <laughs> One of these things! Whatever. So there's no secret uh, shop on this map, so that's not an issue. There's a village, but as long as there's no thieves here within their city, which it doesn't look like there is, then that should be fine, and we can get Marth there whenever. Plus, seeing as how we need Marth to go over here to this house anyway, we'll probably just bring Marth up this side anyway as well. After all, over here the only thing is those shops, which... Ah, there is this one fort. I don't know, hold on, yeah, something's fishy. Why wouldn't we just go up the right side? More units may end up spawning in. There may be some tricks up their sleeves. After all, for a map this late, this is kind of a very, this is relatively few units. There was a thief. All right, well, I mean, it's one thief. Oh, shoot, yeah, no, I don't know. Ah, and as long as we get someone else to sit there, ready to kill the thief when he gets there, Marth can get there when he gets there, so never mind. It's still no problem. Again, relatively, there's writer's banes, there's writers with silver bows. Ugh. So, um, I don't think anyone was ready for a promotion. Marth is getting close. In fact, he's so close, we probably, shoot, on top of everything else, we need to take away some of his weapons so that, yeah, I mean, that Levin sword's been doing him really no good, so we'll go ahead and do his little bit of uh, convoy stuff here since we need to go ahead and see some of it. 
well, we don't need to see some of it, but we'll take away his Levin Sword. He needs the Rapier. We'll probably sell that one Rapier, because there's no point in having a single-use Rapier. And he'll need three items then, both spheres, and he'll need the, uh... Yes, yeah, so we'll sell that. We'll go ahead and have... Actually, we'll probably sell that five-use Killing Edge. That well, depends on... Do we have... What do we have? We've got loads of Rapiers. Do we have loads of Killing Edges, though? Kind of. Yeah, we can afford this. No, we should keep that five-use. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. So, one of these stones is in here. Here we are, the Light Sphere. And a Master Seal, and then we'll trade... We'll sell that Rapier, or that, uh... Yeah. Sell... His Rapier... For the 20 gold. And then have him trade away from Tiki, the Star Sphere. We could have him trade it later, but she doesn't need it this early. At least it doesn't look like it. Anyway, so there we go. All right. So, other than that, I think everything else shall be done off camera. Yeah, no one else is ready to promote or anything, so yep, see you in a moment. All right, I think we're ready to go ahead and get this underway. Okay, someone flew there immediately. Okay, McCallus knows he's there. Not sure how I feel about that. Lord Goto, the League has begun its attack. I wish for you to move someplace safe until the fighting has ended. Why not just end this folly right now, Michaelis? Folly? What folly? You loved your younger sister so much. It pains me to see you quarrel. If you and Minerva had worked as one, Macedon might have become a great kingdom. Greater even than Arcanea, perhaps. But instead, you let Garnef trick you into destroying your family and your kingdom with it. I cannot undo what is done. My father's blood will always be on my hands, just as Minerva's betrayal of her brother and country will be on hers. And Macedon has not been destroyed. Not yet. So long as I carry Io's shield, the League's arrows cannot fell me. Very well. And if you win, what then? If I win, I will tell you. Right now, my only goal is to gut that Artean prince who leads the League. My pride as Macedonian king rests upon it. I see. Then we've nothing more to discuss, have we? The weight of his father's murder threatens to crush him. Poor boy. Poor fool. Yeah, I wasn't planning on using arrows, because I knew about Iod's shield. Alright, so, like I said, need to get Marth over there, but also need to get Marth over here. Alright, let's see what they do. Thief moves up, they start moving out. Interesting. Alright, let's have Marth visit, see what's up. I mean, now we know that uh, Goto's up there, but... Yeah. A great sage lives in the village to the north. He's not very sociable, though. Hardly anyone ever sees him. Yeah, that was worthless. <laughs> Why did I even bother? Alright, well, with the number of archers, it's probably just as well that we're having the dragoons go this... Or our Drago knights go this way. It's been a shame I didn't... Uh, Tiki the other way. Tiki would probably be a really good counter to a lot of this, but oh well. So with Rider's Bane being what's at the forefront... We need to have Barst be the one to tank it. And ideally as close to it as possible so that we can then have room to back up from there as these three arrive. Well, as well as the rest of their nonsense. Let's see, how much Rider's Bane are we looking to be dealing with? Javelin. Armor Slayer, but we don't have any armored. Silver Lance, Javelin. Steel Sword, Rider's Bane, Javelin. So, so far, it's only one Rider's Bane. Silver Lance, Silver Lance. Yeah, okay! So only one Rider's Bane, so we'll have to be careful of that. Otherwise, wait, no, didn't, didn't, yeah, there's two Rider's Bane. So, but once we take out this first Rider's Bane, our rider, our Paladins will absolutely be able to help with the rest of these, which is great. There is only the one uh, Armor Slayer. Where was the Armor Slayer? 
and again, I'm still not totally sure if Barst counts, so we'll have to be careful about that. So we want to move Barst as far north as we can get him. Armed with... Not hammer, yes, yeah, steel axe. Should he be having a silver axe? Maybe, I don't know. Alright. So, yep, you come down. 2 versus 22. So I'd say pretty clearly Bars doesn't need a silver axe yet. But it may not be long before he starts kind of needing to have that at the ready. Alright, so we've attracted a couple to head over that way now. Thanks to uh, the positioning of our flyers. Let's see. Killer, Javelin, Silver, Silver, Javelin, and you shouldn't be able to... Yeah, you can't even reach the front. Right, so... You can't reach very far, you can't reach very far. So ideally we want to lure these two out pretty far. Let's see, Killer Lance. Javelin could be countered by bow, but Killer Lance can reach further and so yeah, we want to have axe probably then, which is what he's already on anyway. So actually, let's move up to the limit we can without being in range of, oh shoot, Javelin. Well, Javelin, all right. Yeah, you're both javelins, so actually, does he even have throwing axe at the moment? Yes. It's not as great against the killer lance. Can he walk up to... He could. But then he'd be in range of you. I don't know that I want to try to counter you with that. So instead, I think... Yeah, we're gonna... Ah, that killer lance. It's got me a little bit worried. Really? Well, hold on. Show me. What's the calc? Because he can't hit back. The Killer Lance can't hit back with this. So yeah. Guaranteed kill. What all would he have to tank at that point? A Javelin. A Silver Bow. Silver Lance from melee with a Hand Axe, which isn't great. Two Javelins, a Silver Bow, and he would at least be out of range of you. It is Barst. I don't like it, but I could. <sighs> it is Barst, and he's at nearly full health. Speed 14. Speed 20. Not speed. Every single one of you is. <sighs> if anyone can pull this off, it would be Barst. And I don't want to have to deal with the chances of crit. From a killer lance. Right. And plus, we've seen him go up against javelins before. He usually handles javelins without any real issue. The only question I have is a silver lance versus his hand axe instead of a steel axe. Yeah, so he's going to attract all their attention, but another way of potentially lessening the burden on him would be moving some other javelins into range. I guess leave the silver bow and lance in range of him. Try to bring others into the range of these two. So we'll take away the general range and put on. Okay, so not hers necessarily then. Does hers match his? I mean, essentially. So yeah, those, those top two spots. I mark you, so it's these two spots. Yep. Move the javelin into this red. Right? Yep, he's already on javelin. Move. Yep, and you're already on javelin. I'll declare. One use. Silver Lance lands a hit. And second use. Kaching. Right. There's a level up. Get at least three skills, please. Speed. Oh, I said skill. <laughs> you only got two. But at least one of them was indeed skill. Um. Yeah, she can pretty safely swoop right up to your face. What do we want to have hit you with, though? 26, yes, this will do it. And honestly, yeah, let's just do it with the Steel Lance, then. Oh, 26 will indeed not do it. Why did I... 11% crit chance, come on, see that? Nope, oh well. Uh. Come on, both of you getting garbage level ups. 
Oh, and a fortify. Of course, there's two fortifies on every map now. Whatever. That was pathetic. And it was distracted from Bars, so that's one last bit of damage he'll have to tank. Now is the... Alright, yep, the bow guy could only have ever hit him. Kachiga. That was always going to go fairly well. Now for the melee. Oh, nope, they decide to have the javelin. Yep, and... <laughs> whatever, loser. Right, you move in. Okay, seven, so I was probably a little bit... Oh, and he dodges the abs. I was probably a little bit worried over nothing. Barst, yeah, almost certainly had this under control. And the Northern Knight, does he go after Barst, or does he take the lower down knight bait? Or paladin bait? Yep, he does. Right. Oh, I was reading the damages wrong. Or backwards. We take him out. Excellent. And that is already the bulk of their forces dead. Alright, we'll have to be careful of those uh, archers. Alright, no, it's just you that's an archer. Alright, so actually, that's that's manageable. Let's continue moving you up. With more overseeing is how those mountains will slow you down. Shoot! Okay, no, good. <laughs> we have just enough turns. Right up here, and... Yeah, take him out with an iron bow. Which means Bars will be able to intercept that thief now. Uh, they'll just all be moving, clearly, then. Well, hold on. And that furthest edge... Can we even move anyone to right next to Barst? Probably not. Nope. Yeah, everyone, uh, they'd be one too low. They'd be in range of the thief, not in range of the bowman. Alright, so how are we gonna handle this next bit? Got a javelin, so yeah, if we move you over here and hit with a steel or silver axe. 28, excellent. <clears throat> Versus two. Sweet. We didn't get a dodge. Alright, she's now in range of both those others. Ah, oh, shoot, but one of them has a javelin. Dum, 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 dum. Well, oh well. Rider's Bane can't do anything excessive to her. Uh, trade, switch yourself to Gradivus, and switch her over to her Javelin. Well, actually, no, both of those... Yeah, switch to Javelin, because if we go with Hand Axe, they're less likely to hit her, and we would ideally like you to not use up more uses of Gradivus, although you will kill if they do dare. So, we'll see you in a moment. Alright. Indeed, I'm going to get a use out of Gradivus, unfortunately. And... Oh, come on! <laughs> Another use! Crit, but was gonna one-shot anyway, so... Oh well. Of course you go after them. Of course you go after them. However, if Minerva flies up to you... With a silver axe. I should have died. I was meaning to do the math first. Oh boy, we better hope that Sita can finish a rider with the wing spear. Yes, of course you can. Down to 15 Gradivus uses. So we want to be a little more lighter on that now. Wing spear, fool. Alright, and she's right next to the shopping area, so that'll be excellent. Tiki, slowly, <laughs> coming along. Alright, let's see. Um, Steel Sword, I don't think we can reach you with either of our mages. Nope. Let's see. You still need sword practice, but you still actually need some spear practice, so go ahead and get up some lancing in. Yep. Yep. 
There we go. Um, let's see. Can you reach the... Yes, you can. Well, okay. You can. Can you eliminate him, though? Twelve. Of course not. Why would you be able to? It would only be helpful. Whatever. Get some EXP out of it, I guess. Athletic though it may be. Get some sword training. <coughs> one, one, one hit of sword training, anyway. And a level up. It's not bad. Interesting. The forts have yet to spawn any. I wonder. Why are they taking so long? Well, let's check. What do you got? Don't have a ton of gold to work with, so the fact that we can't really... Or, not can't, but don't really need anything from that vendor is actually only a good thing. Yeah, I don't really need anything from there either. This armory? Okay. Need that. Take one. Take one. Just to be safe. Alright, then we'll do the next bit of shopping on the next turn. We have Minerva. Well, can she afford to be in that? What would she be getting the attention of? You with the javelin. And actually, just you with the javelin. Alright. In which case, yeah, sure, go ahead and move into this position then with your hand axe. Because you could use some javelin practice, but I need to get more dangerous than we already are. Alright, next turn, he'll be able to reach there. Alright. Just a lot with that hand axe there, Minerva. But well, alright. Hello, Goto. You have the Light Sphere and Star Sphere with you. Well done. Now I can create Starlight for you. There, it is finished. Take this with you. It is the only magic capable of breaking through in Hulu. Use it to stop that fiend Garnef once and for all. Na 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 na. Shoot, and it looks like it did consume the other two. We do get 13 uses of it, which isn't bad. And we have her here for explicitly this purpose. A soul magic capable of thwarting Imhulu's power. Oh good, and she's also able to use it. That would have that would have been a bit of a problem if she didn't have the skill necessary to use it. What's it? This armor. Ooh! Shoot. Some of this stuff's pretty good. All right, well, we don't really need any of those. But we could probably use two of these. They have 20 uses. We'll just take one. And we probably have enough of the other stuff. And we're getting a bit low on gold. We need to start conserving. Because we need to especially conserve on items like what's there that are just kind of neat. Because we need to save it for things like rapiers and wing spears that are so necessary. Alright, we've got a healer in range of her this turn. Go ahead and move Minerva in. Give her a... Eh, she shouldn't need a mend. A heal should do most of it. Oh, no, I did all of the healing. She needed her excellent move in. Silver Axe. Come on, Minerva! That is such a pain! some allies in here that can give you a bit of a hand. Budding. Oh shoot, you're still in range of... Not the Silver Lance. But the Silver Lance, so whatever, you're at full health. That's good. Alright, so that Silver Lance should, yep, come right up and face us. Uh, what's extra frustrating about this is that this means that while she probably should win against Michaelis, it'll probably take ages. <laughs> Alright, good. So just some more Silver Lances. Well, 
which clearly Minerva could use some practice against. Come on, Minerva! There's a chance that maybe... Hold on, let's move you out of the... Well, hold on, no, can uh, Merrick step right... Yes, right there. Thunder, can he weaken it? Yes, good, just enough. Come on, Merrick, you better stink and hit this. There we go. <sighs> we can try to give uh, Minerva as much training as we can through this. Boy, I hope I didn't just move him too close. It occurs to me. We'll find out in a second. Level up so we can shoot! He is one step too close. All right, not of you, though. It's of you. <laughs> Out loud. None of us can move to his south. Nuts. All right. That's still Lance. So we'll just need to move someone. Actually, I'll go ahead and move you right here with a steel axe. You should be absolutely fine. Even if all three silver lights came at you, I am pretty confident in Barst at this point. Alright, I mean, I'll also move Tiki in. Well, oh, hold on. Let's move the knights. Well, do we want the. Yeah, we don't want the knights really being in the way, so let's move them here as a wall. Let's uh, have someone trade him over to his uh, steel lance so he's not making a target out of himself. Tiki in. It's okay if she gets targeted. She could use the EXP as well. Though honestly, same could be said of. Well, no, the Wing Spear doesn't count against these guys, so yeah, she doesn't need it. Let it sit over there. Move these two slowly across the mountains. Yep, <laughs> burst. <laughs> Oh, oh, you, you think you're so hot to trot? Get some! Let me guess, some of you fools want some more. Yeah, of course you do. You can't get enough of Barst. It's a shame, it's a shame we may end up uh, having to have Barst be the one to take out Michalis, seeing how he's soaking up all this EXP I kind of wanted from Minerva. Okay, no, and this guy goes after Harden, of course. Whatever. Everyone but Minerva. Right, two more spawned any, at any rate. Are they? Yeah, just Silver Lance and Silver Lance. All right, excellent. All right, in that case, move you. Problem is, yeah. You have a move of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if we move Minerva there, with a healer behind her on either side, he couldn't reach, but... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah, no, but the other, the Dragoon, or the other, the Draco Knight could. Sue. So, in order to move Barst out of the way... We'll unfortunately need to leave someone else still very much in the way. <sighs> well, let's pull the rest of yous back further. Staff heal. All right, hopefully by having Minerva closer, even though Barst will, yes, as I can see here, <laughs> indeed still be quite in range of the Dragoon, the uh, Draco Knight, rather. Hopefully, it will still decide to go after Minerva, seeing how she is just so much closer. Will it? We'll certainly find out in a moment, now won't we? Alright, at least we guaranteed that you would go after Minerva. Nice. <clears throat> now, of course, you go up to someone else. Hey, but Abel doesn't kill you, so Minerva can actually back off to go get the bit of EXP off of you, and then. Well, never mind. Two fortifies. 
And more spawn. Grand. Well, maybe she can still get the kill on you. Well, yeah. But the issue is the other Draco Knight can still come around then and cause us problems. And she needs a heal now. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't think then now that we can safely get a healer. <sighs> I suppose if we just leave you there, we can move. Well, hold on. Seven versus five. You in, give her a mend, and move. You down to. Hold on, actually, have you just moved down to there? There we go. Four, seven, twelve. Well, definitely not you. So actually, yeah, Abel is the one who needs to be right there. Go figure. Alright, we'll grind this out for a bit then. I have Minerva get convoyed out another item soon, another st silver axe soon, but whatever. Go, Abel, go. Yep, double fortify. Ooh. Presumably, this is the last wave. Includes a Rider's Bane, a Swarm, which is annoying, a Killer Bow, you say. Schnikes. Well, this situation just got a lot more interesting. Movement of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, as long as Minerva moves even one back, then the Killer Bow can no longer reach her. Really not that afraid of a Swarm guy. Over multiple turns, I might be, but just for this one turn, after which he will probably be dead, I'm not. All three of these can, yeah, probably reach really far if we don't stop up that hole. Which is a problem. Considering one of them's a Rider's Bane. Hmm. So all in all, I think we need to pull back. Which is a problem. Nine, you say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so as long as Minerva pulls one back, she can either javelin or she she can be completely ineffectual against this guy, let's be honest. Yeah, at this point, considering how many levels she already has, we're undoubtedly going to need to use some of our... It's getting to be about that time where we're going to need to start thinking about using our uh, stat items, because some of these people are getting to levels, like, especially Barst. If we want any stat... Although Barst honestly has had such good level ups and he's been with us so long, <clears throat> by the time he reaches 20 in his promoted, he probably will have enough stats in stats that I care about, so he's probably not going to need me. But, like, Minerva... Is getting to the point where, yeah, if we're gonna want her to have better stats, she's probably gonna need to just go ahead and have some invest in her. Whereas, like I was saying, I may want some speed on Tiki, but she has enough levels left, she probably can get them without it being a problem. Explicitly unlike Minerva. You there. Who's reaching so far out? Oh, right, it's you screwing up the overall. There we go. So, yeah, even just that already. You have to move at least here. Yeah, it's probably fine. Just gotta move one back. Let's see, hold on. How many uh, silver axe? Silver Axe left. Just going to equip it and sit there. 
She could also use some, so go ahead and have her sit there. Same with you. Move you in, and, well, no, she doesn't need a bend. Just go ahead and heal. All right, so you can't reach. None of you can reach beyond the barrier we've made. You guys can't get any further than you, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and move you guys in behind them and you'll be fine. I mean, Mr. Swarm is going to take a pot shot at somebody, but odds are really good he hits no one that can't take it. Alright, so this front rider, yeah, you're going to 13, but one, one in five chance. And you're usually on Barst, who's not even in the front line anyway, so yeah, even if you hit, it doesn't matter. Well, I guess a little does land his hit, but Abel undoubtedly returns with a vengeance. Alright, you come up, give her some training. Good dodge. I guess part of it, yeah, is that Minerva, it's her speed that's really hindering a lot of these bouts. Her strength could use some boost, but mostly it's the fact that she is not consistently getting in the two attacks. Good dodge, Abel. Might end up needing that. Oh, sweet, a crit. You didn't need that, but it's nice that you got it. Alright, he's catching up with Harden now. And is that A in Spears? I think it is. Which means now he too only... Right, the Raider's Bane! At least we double attack and not get a double attack, so... <sighs> there was a slight miscalculation... But he, he, he was fine. A doom. There we go. She had. Yeah, so as long as she's double attacking, she seems to have enough power with that silver axe. The real problem seems to have been that. Shh. Are you kidding me? You're amping it up! And the next guy has a killer bow! Huh! Alright, so we need to swap you with Bars, that's for sure. Shoot, no, because Bars needs to be over there. Well, hold on. Yeah, no, that's the problem, because the Rider's Bane is right there. So, yeah, we need to not have a... Shoot. How do we do this? Hmm. Yeah, the Rider's Bane's the main thing actually causing any trouble. Because these swarms should be <laughs> ignorable, essentially. And the bows take two turns to get into range, although, yeah, I mean, we don't really want to move any close. I guess move closer. That's part Well, no, because we can't move closer and end up in range of the killer bow. No, period. I was going to say with our flyers, but no, period. Oh, right, the other guy had a killer bow anyway, so no, that's actually not a change. Shoot! We may need to pull a bit of a crazy move here, which will unfortunately deny Minerva a lot of EXP. And now without uh, the Star Sphere... Is this too close? It doesn't kill, so that's definitely not worth moving into range of. Shoot! How are we going to handle this then? Marth could move in. He definitely needs some. But he can't double attack the guy because he's too fast. <sighs> yeah, the specific combination here is giving issues. Hold on. What is the max range you can reach? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, so actually, we are fine, I think, if we just move you back one. I mean, we still don't have a good answer to this killer bow. So we'll still need to figure that out. But if we move Abel, we'll just, yeah, definitely back. No matter what, back. Then our front line. Oh, right, shoot. Oh, well, no, yeah, that, yeah. So this guy now can still get into where Abel was. But that's okay, because that's still not attacking anyone else other than Harden, which is fine. The Rider's Bane, importantly, can't reach any of our any of them. 
just the Silver Lance. Just Silver Lance, it can't reach much further anyway. Can't reach anyone at all. So yeah, now we have brought it down to just being a problem with the Killer Bow. We could maybe heal Barst and have him charge in. That's what we need to do. Shoot, which kind of stinks, because again, we really need Minerva to be getting... Question being, can he do what we need him to do here? Yes. Then that's the answer, I think. Give him a heal. Have him rush the bowman. Right, which puts him in range of the other bowman. Oh, that's part of the problem. Alright, so hold on. Well, shoot. So, alternatively, I could have him use the Hand Axe. Yeah, that could be okay, because the problem is now he'll be in range of the other killer bow. Which is really not great. And he'll be really far forward, which will attract a load of attention from everyone else. And everyone else is melee, so he needs to be on something like the Hand Axe that can hit both. He can't afford to be on his own bow. Ugh, this is quite the conundrum. Man, if only Tiki had enough speed to take this guy out. There's a mend since we know that's something that we'll need to do here. Wow, that didn't even. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, go for it. I think I think this is our only route forward. And it relies on our Okay, so now it's a mix of the two. Because now you will need to move forward also into everyone's death range and take this guy out. Just starting to use up uses of your Divine Stone, so it's good that we got use out of the Star Sphere when we did. I got a decent amount of stats on you ahead of time. How has this changed things? Yeah, we need to move Minerva over one so that she's blocking the healers. We may need to move... Yep. Because of that, we'll need to move somebody anyway down. Can we afford to... Nope. And it has to be Sita. <sighs> We've got more than enough wing spears. That's, that's not really an issue. Alright, well this isn't great. Man, this map is turning out to be a pain in the butt. That spot just above Minerva... Or not above Minerva, above, uh... Barst. Is somehow in range of... Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, wait, no, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, because this is the Silverlands, so that, yeah, that's fine. in range, but they can't hit her, right, so that's, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, let's see how this goes. Ugh, we really need this to be like the last time, I mean, kind of need one or both of these to miss. We don't need them to miss, we would really like them to miss, I should rephrase. Miss, 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 miss. Okay, okay, Price still deals with it. Okay, that's pathetic on your part anyway, and BOOM you're gone, so we don't have to deal with a killer bow next turn anyway. So that's actually pretty good. Tiki, depends on if she gets to double attack, and this is a paladin, so she probably doesn't have the speed for that. Yeah, just as well. Yep, goes after Harden. Harden should be able to double hit. So, Adrian's now down. Next comes Rider's Bane, probably. If I'm getting... Yep, I was reading the order of operations correctly. Ooh, 20, unless she gets a crit, which she has a decent chance of. Come on. That wasn't a crit. All right, well, whatever. That's someone to be in range of the mages, I guess, which <laughs> they could use some as well. Or more, more directly in this map, Minerva, who definitely needs it at the moment, too. Alright, yeah, because of all that distraction, Barst is now absolutely ready to take this person on. Hopefully there's not yet a third wave of <laughs> significantly more. Hopefully we have 
almost expended the resources of the Airy. Airy, rather. Whew, not even, apparently. Plus side, they appear to be continuing. Uh, the swarms are going to start to add up. Where'd the third one go? He didn't move. Oh, so he prevented another one from spawning. That's actually helpful. All right. With the other killer bow having been taken out, we can afford to move these two back. Can you take this guy out? Yes, do so. And then, shebang. I thought there were too few. <laughs> this definitely turned out very interesting. You back to here, and we don't need you on hand axe now, we need you on steel axe. Move you back to here. Uh, bit of a problem. Move you out to here so that we can move both of these over. Because, yeah, we need a heal on Harden so that he's ready to go. We need a mend on Barst. And low, but we have uh, Mr. Convoy right there, so it's not that big of an issue. Right, now let me make sure. Silver Lance is in range of only people who can handle it. Rider's Bane can't reach any of the riders. Correct. Correct. Same with that, Silver Lance. Just gonna have to deal with those mages as they come. You're in range of, oh shoot, unfortunately, only Barst instead of Minerva, so he's probably going to soak even more, but whatever. And you are in range of nobody. Excellent. And you can get out, but only to be able to hit her who's got a wing spear, so your funeral, buddy. All right, so we pass the turn again and let them come at us. We need lots of misses from these swarm guys. They'll be easy enough to take out once we can afford to charge, but we can't afford to charge until the fort stops spawning. All right, at least also this guy continues to stand on his spot, which means that they can't spawn in more because they would be able to overwhelm us pretty quick if they were, if they weren't, if he wasn't stuck standing on his one spot. See, that should be fine. I think there's only one dragoon or uh, dragon rider that's in range of her anyway. Shibuya. Oh, good, but she didn't kill, so. Oh, she only didn't kill because the. Oh, the wing spear breaking actually may have saved her life. She was definitely then in range of at least two of the Dragon Riders, maybe even three. <clears throat> All right, yeah, burst. Crying out loud, go after Minerva, she needs training! <sighs> Whatever. Barst Silver Axe is about to break too. <sighs> oh my goodness! This is getting stupid! Shoot, now we have to execute some sort of counter to the bowman again. <sighs> Which is fantastic. We can at least move people in to heal easily enough. What do we got in terms of five men, two mend? Move you over for a mend on Sita. Um, you over to, I don't know if that spot's safe. It is definitely not. So we can really only afford to have one of you two move to just behind Sita to throw a damage over her. Scalibur's bonus against flying units, apparently. Would have been a bit nice to know. Only a bit, we've been trying to really not use too much of it, so. All right, well, that's definitely a little bit helpful then, anyway. Gets him a level. Not bad. 
head. Alright, how do we proceed next? Well, definitely move you in and give a mend to Barst. Need to get him back up into fighting shape. All these bowmen he needs to counter. Ugh! So move him down a step to once again hand axe you and hand axe the next one. Oh, good crit! That'll save some uses. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Right now he's ready to take on the other one. However, he is now distinctly in range of this Silver Lance and will probably be the one who attracts its attention. <sighs> and unfortunately, probably the same for most of these. Can we afford to move Minerva right next to him? Yes, in actual point of fact. Move Minerva down one. And yeah, Silver Axe is shoot, kind of what she needs to be on. Shoot, 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 shoot. <sighs> what should we put below it? Steel Axe, I guess. Equip, then equip. Yeah, yeah, do it in this order. All right, what does that look like then behind them? Looks like we could move Tiki down if we wanted. It's mostly a meaningless gesture, but whatever, it keeps the line even. We need someone to step down. And it probably has to be Sita, unfortunately, because well, yeah, all three will be able to reach her there. But right now, the healers can be reached was part of the reason not to move <laughs> Minerva down. If she moves down one, Marth can trade to her from the convoy. Yeah, that shouldn't be in range of anyone who can... Yeah, anyone, period. Well, except for the Mr. Magic. So, a few down there, and convoy out. Another wing spear. We don't have that many more, but we do some... That'll... That'll help. Alright. Now they're only in range of her with the Dragon Pike, which most, I'm mainly hoping, will help in that as a deterrent. Keeping them from charging. Surely, we are reaching the end of their rope. I mean, come on! Alright, goes after Barst again. Good, we get a miss. That's good. Because we got one more archer coming up at him. And another swarm at him. Come on, hold up the last time. Oh, good, double miss on that. Oh, that's good, that's good. Here comes Killer. Double hit, there we go. Attaboy Barst. For the moment, that's Bowman neutralized. Takes on this guy, even though it's uh, with a hand axe, takes it on plenty fine. Considering we have more, because he's getting very close, I believe, to breaking that one. All right, you go after Harden, which is fine. It's Harden, we'll double attack you, yep. I certainly hope I did the calcs right, and yeah, you can't reach, so you are up against the Dragon Pike. Good dodge, Sita. You can, you probably needed that, honestly. Alright. Wish they would freaking go and hit Minerva so Minerva would get some of this, but whatever! Alright. Well. I was gonna say there's something for Minerva to do, but... Yep, double fortify! Please stop spawning. Finally! Do you just have a melee? No, oh, you also have a javelin. That's 
whenever I could get some javelin practice. <laughs> that may be what that's uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do. That is exactly what we're gonna do. All right, so no more of them. We'll try to give Minerva now as much of this EXP as we can. All right, good. Double sixteen will take you. I'm really not that afraid of the other two. The two mages. That is. Got plenty of people needing healing. Can't with a single silver, so use a steel. There we go. Then we'll use your final silver on this guy, then a steel. Yada yada. Use up that one silver axe to do however much damage you can. If you can get a credit B, I don't know what you did. But you didn't. Alright, but you did get another level up. And all you got was a single point of luck. Alright, attack with your javelin. This guy. Get crits on your first hit! Oh well. Minerva, I have missed you, sister. Let us embrace one last time. Michalis. Well, strike! A moment's hesitation spells death on the battlefield. I know I taught you better. You will not lay down your lance and walk the right path. Don't be a child. There are no right paths. Just mine and yours. Two that will never cross. Never a line, I think he meant. We're clearly crossing right now. Very well, then you leave me no choice. Embrace you, I shall, brother. As they throw javelins at each other. Sweet, I'm faster than him. Oh, that's going to make so much difference. All right. Yep, he gets a heal. Trade some blows. He's doing noticeably more damage, but that'll just give, a, give Maria more time for healing. And we've got more than enough javelins. And this will actually get her javelin or her spear skill up quite a bit. Plus, if we really want this to end, once we get enough javelin skill up, we can just have her switch to hand axe. Which is part of why we're going to be moving. Uh, and I really like the fact that Maria's helping. <laughs> So let's move you. Oh, you can move over the water just very slowly. All right, so in turn. Heals up. Probably need a level up in order to actually start doing enough damage to mean anything. Or get some crits. All right, moved Marth into this position so that if, if and when she needs it, she can get some more javelins from him. Oh, actually, I am doing 8 damage over 4 on his turn, 4 on my turn, if I land all of them, which she's not. Did she have the ability? I was going to say, did, was that implying she had the ability to talk to him? That'd be a weird moment to be doing it. Alright, and then... Oh! <laughs> Got a crit to bring the thing, the, to swing the favor even further in hers. There's another reason why we're doing this, and it's because now that he's on the javelin... I think you can figure out how I plan on finishing this. And I think we're probably within a few turns of doing it. Yeah, even with a crit. Yeah, because he'll heal. Two, two more sets. Ah, good, and she'll level up. Which is probably the most important part of all this anyway. Seeing as how, yeah, I don't know if she'll finish C before uh, this is over. Boom, and down to 10. Alright, we'll see. She, I hope she'll be able to do 10 damage now. Come on! With what else? Finish him. 
She wouldn't have fared quite as well against a, a silver axe, or a silver lance, but a javelin. Ah! I am finished! Forgive me, my people! And who do you think will be holding on to that? Alright, seize. First General Camus of Groost, now Prince Michalis of Macedon. Men of such promise. Had the times been different, the two might have led illustrious lives. Yes, Prince Michalis was a brilliant man with great things ahead of him. But in the end, the rashness of youth did him in. Only because Garnet found his weakness and exploited it. Until we stop that fiend, the spiral of misery will never cease. Then shall we go to Thebes? Lord Goto said the city lies someplace far to the north of Cadane. Yes, in the heart of the desert. Thebes is an old city. None in recent memory have gone there and returned alive. Within its walls remain many powerful apparatus created or crafted of long-forgotten magic. Lord Goto believes Garnef is harnessing their power, and that is why he wields such influence over the continent. And he has Imhulu as well. This will be a struggle. Still, Garnef's reign must end. The world was so much more beautiful before he painted it red. Alright, so that will finally be the end of this episode. So, thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time. Yo, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like and leave a comment. Subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want YouTube to let you know when more uploads arrive. I've put links in the description for if you want to follow the channel's Twitter or Facebook, as well as a link to the channel's Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.